Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. So today I'm here to discuss about use of timesheets in Odo 14 project modules. Uh, so timesheets time are used to record the time uh, of projects or tasks in your, that is for your company. So let's open project module. So many companies working on projects imply the utilization of timesheets. So we can use a timesheet to monitor the budgets by project and manage schedule. And also keeping a timesheet up to date is an important key to the visibility of the project in real time. However, recording and validating timesheets can be unnecessarily a time continuing process. To, so to avoid wasting time on this, Odo timesheet uh, can be used uh, in order to keep the track of the work you did. So first, uh, to enable timesheets, that is for managing time for projects and tasks, please go to configuration settings and enable timesheets. So here you can see timesheets and we can also plan our project uh, using planning. Okay, so coming back to our uh, projects. So let's create a new project and see how we can create a timesheet for our projects and tasks. Okay, so demo. And we can add planning timesheets. And if you want to create invoice for your uh, time and material from tasks, you can enable that. So click create button and you can see project will be created. And after creating, that is clicking, clicking create button, you can see uh, that is here we have to add stages. Okay, new design. Um, and this way you can add stages for your project. And by clicking create button, you can create a task for your project. Okay, before that, we can see our demo project. Uh, let's enable. Sorry. Let's enable billable option so that you can create invoice for your task timesheet. Okay. So let's create task. And assign this task to a person. So I'm assigning it to Michelle and click add button. So after adding, you can see the task is created and you can mark it as urgent. You can plan activity or the new conversation with the person assigned. Okay, then open the project. That is open the task and here you can see, uh, you can add the customer and the service pro product that is the service product with which you want, would like to create bill uh, for your time spent on this task. You can add a service product here and Okay, so here you can assign a parent task and deadline and tags for this task. And here you can see an option to add timesheets for your task. So here you can add timesheet. So multiple uh, work, that is you can add the works done by employees on this task. So initial and add. To hours and you can also add initial plan hours for this task so eight hours suppose eight hours is planned and you can see the progress is 25 percentage because the duration that is uh, spent on this task by michel admin uh, that is not on task but some work on this task is uh, two hours and again if you click add line you can see the date and here you can add a different person uh, different employee and you can add Let's 
description and you can add the duration here. Suppose I'm adding one hour, three hour, and you can see the progress now changed to 63 percentage. So this will help in uh, project report creation. That is these uh, timesheet lines will help in project report creation and can evaluate performance and work done by employees and can see you can uh, well, that is view the progress of each task. Okay, now we can save this. We save this task. And if you want to create a sale order uh, for this task, you can click this create sale order. And now let's come back to our task and project. And here you can see overview of this project. So when you click on this, you can see a, a page which shows the recorded hours and profitability of this project. So here you can see one task and can see five, five hours spent on the task on the project and can see uh, five hours uh, with, that is non billable task because no sale order or invoice is created mm, no sale order is created so you can see it is non billable uh, that is we have add timesheet add a timesheet for task and based on that timesheet and the timesheet cost set on the employers employees hr settings you can see the timesheet cost negative 200 okay so it is negative 200 because we have set for michelle admin that is cost per hour 100. So let's go to our task. And timesheet, okay, you can see, and in our lever, just go to employee. Okay, open this and edit and under HR settings. You can see it is zero per hour. That is why uh, we have our timesheet cost there as negative 200. So just add 100 here and save this. And come back to the project and to our overview. So here, okay, it is 200 itself. That is before we have been set the time sheet hour for this employee. Okay, so save this. And okay, so here you can see now the time sheet cost is negative 500. And uh, for our task, if you want to create invoice or sale order, you can do that also. You can also create, uh, that is add timesheet for your project directly. So by, by clicking here and click create button, you can add timesheet for this project. I'm not adding the task, that is I'm not adding timesheet for the task. Okay, I'm adding here four hours and come back to overview. So here you can see now it is negative 900. That is time sheet cost is negative 900 because negative 400 is added to, that is 400 is added to time sheet cost. And you can see a no task found because uh, we have created time sheet directly for our project without creating task. And you can see how it's recorded for. And now we can see the uh, total recorded time for this project is nine hours. And below you can see time spent by each employee and the progress with the timesheet uh, on each sale order. Okay, if you have created sale order, there you can see that. And planning can be viewed. 
So if you want to create a sale order, you can directly create from here. Okay, then you come back to project overview. Okay, so here you can see two invoice again changed to 41.21 because we have created sale order for our task one. Okay. And here we have a reporting. So under reporting you can see uh, time sheet and planning analysis. So this is our time sheet and planning analysis, uh, which uh, have different measures, different effective hours, number of hours, plan hours can be seen uh, with different views, bar chart, pie chart, line chart, and you can see the time sheet and planning in different colors here. And we also have a pivot view. So here you can see uh, different employees, uh, plan hours on task, and you can see effective hours, difference, on different month on the year 2020 you can see that and we can insert this report this timesheet and planning analysis report on your on a spreadsheet so that's all about uh, timesheet that is use of timesheet in order 14 project Media. and it is also possible to view uh, the progress and time spent on each task. So when you click on tasks, you can see in a list view. Here we can see the hours, hours spent on each task and the progress of the task. You can see the in percentage. Okay. Uh, so coming back to our project. If you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any order implementation or customization in your business, drop your request to odo at cyprocess.com.